hi and thank you for stopping by um i'm albert the technologist and welcome and today we're going to do a review on tech key wi-fi um ac1200 it's a dual band uh high gain five gain five dbi uh antenna it supports uh usb 3.0 you have your 2.4 gigahertz and you have your 5.8 gigahertz. Uh, let me open up the box and show you. I got this for the gateway because the gateway comes with A211N. And I'm going to teach you how to sit, get rid of, stop using the internal one. It has an annoying feature of coming on on its own. I've done, I've done it with the other one too, so I'm going to show you. So this is what's in the box. You get your. Uh, you get your booklet. It comes with um, something you might not use because <laughs> nobody really has it. USB drivers on here. It also comes with, ah, oh, that's right, that's what it comes with. Oh. It comes with a drive. I would show you what it looks like. Oh, I, know, I don't know where I put it. I know there was something in that box. So it comes with a little small little drive. This is like a little, um, Small little um, hard drive thing. It's a shame. Because I would show you what it looked like. Oh, there it is. Here you go. It comes with this. And it's separate. It comes in a pouch. It came in this pouch. And this has the drivers. So the company thought of everything. And you get all that. So, because when you buy. Um, the gateway. Which is not a bad deal. I mean, for 149 for this, it's not a bad deal for this. I don't know if it's still on sale for that price. I know they got different prices going on right now. Okay, uh, gateway, gateway laptop. Wow, so the eight gig is out of stock already. Somebody's buying up all the laptops. <laughs> they don't seem to have it anymore. Wow. Not even the touch screen. They're all gone. Wow, they're gone. Oof. Lord, that's something else. All right, let me get this. Um, let me log into this. Got to type in my code. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. Before <clears throat> before I get into this, we're gonna go. We're gonna go. Let me. I'm showing time. I don't know if you can see this here. So we're gonna go start. We're going to go in settings. Device manager. We're going to go, when we're going to device manager. The reason why I'm doing this is so the other drivers don't come up that's on the board. We want, see, this one here. We want to get rid of this. So we're going to right-click on the 802.11n. You want to uninstall the device. Uh, it's not giving me the option to delete it. 
All right, anyway, that's how you get rid of that. I'm going to leave that open, make sure it doesn't pop up because you want to delete it also. I mean, there's another way of doing all this. This is going to the BIOS. All right, this is a two-piece system. So this is the USB dongle, and this is the antenna. You can use any size antenna with this. This is what makes it different from the TP-Link. For the TP-Link one, you can't do it. You, it's all fixed, and it's going to rotate. This is uh, Type 3. So, to be honest with you, I can go on that port. There's a Type 3 on this one. This, this one, the bigger one, has two Type 3s. And a Type C. Let me see what happens see when that plugs in. Because I want, Okay, so the other one came in too. So I'm gonna right click on it. Let me see. Let me let, let me see if I only okay. Still won't let me do it. I want to install that. I don't. Want, I wanted to delete it from the system too. I just want one in the system. Okay. I already put the driver in here and everything. It's very easy to do. It's, it's brain. It's 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 easy. You, you put the driver in first, then you connect it. I already run some tests. Oh 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 oh! <laughs> I got some. I have some good news. What did I do with it? Oh, it's just on the, It's on. It's on the other one. We can recover the. I was gonna write a script. It's gonna be on the Albert the tech, Technologist.com. There will be a script that you can download. Because I have access to cloud stuff. Or I can just show you how to do it and you just copy and paste it. But you have to run it as the administrator. And that will be under 11 Home recover the uh, missing bandwidth that Microsoft takes out. They take got 80%, they only give you 20%. So you want to take out, you want zero taken out. So that's, that's what it'll do. I haven't done it yet on these though. This. So this is how this would work. See? Well, you might say, gee, yeah, but do we need this? Well, if you want to go Wi-Fi and you want to go full strength, I mean, you're going to get with this here, you're going to get 860. I can actually show you. Right click, click on network and... Um, Networking settings. Well, there's three ways of doing this. You could go this way. Oh, what happened here? Let me try something. Oh. CMD, IP config. What does it say here? Okay, I'm getting it here. That's weird because inside it said something completely different. Exit. Let me test this out. I haven't really done anything with this since I got it. I haven't even installed Chrome in this yet. I should, should do it now. I can get it from my server. I can also download it too, but Chrome. Let's see if it comes up. There it is, Chrome setup. That's my that's not like that's an old copy. Let me get a newer copy. Let me go back into the edge. Download. Download Chrome. 
those of you buying the um, the Chrome OS laptop, because I'm sure those are sold out as well. Those are flying out the door. So it says there's no need to download a new browser. <laughs> But I want to download a new browser. I want to have multitude of browsers. I mean, we have that, right? Oh, yeah. That's what I wanted to show you. Let me get back into here. When you put these in, the quality So you want to go to your networking connections and you I call it this Wi-Fi number three. I should actually call it Wi-Fi uh, number five. Let me see what the speed is. Okay, so it says 750 megabytes. Okay, now it says 866. So that's a good range right there. If it's lower than that, there's something wrong. But most likely we should go into properties. Go to the Nick Carter self, so it says configure. Check on the driver settings. Actually, advanced. I should have gone this right. Okay. And you're going to go down, it says wireless mode. So it should say I E E E E eight hundred two eleven A C. By default, it'll say auto, and you want to get it out of the auto because you want the full speed. Now, some people might suggest to you that you should turn off energy saving features, and because you you know because it's gonna when it does energy saving, it's gonna bounce back and forth. I mean, true, you could do that. That's right. Click on that. Click on properties. You would go into <clears throat> configuration, advance. Power management. Allow the computer to turn off the device to save power. You would uncheck that. Then you would have full power on Wi-Fi. So it won't bounce around because it's trying to save power. Same thing with the processor source speed. This is um this one's 2.8. There's another model the the N5030, they do sell that model. That one is a it's it's the same speed, 1.110 gigahertz, but it instead of going to 2.8, it goes over three. So it's an Intel processor, but they do that so they say power, because the more power, the more you know, more battery is gonna take. So, you know, this one the battery is bigger. Okay, so you could turn that feature off if you want to. That's up to you. All right. Do I, it's up to you. I, that's something that you have to make a call on. All right. So what's going on here? Did it download? I don't see it. Did it download? Okay. I put a 64 gig card in here. You can get those too. They're cheap. Like a 256. You can get like 15 bucks on Amazon. But be careful what you buy though. You have to be careful. because uh, A lot of people will stay with Sandis, Pony, uh, I think it's Lens Star or something like that. That's another good brand to get. I want something reliable. I don't know about the generic ones. I don't really buy generic. I get used to Kennings, Kensington's and that one. But with, with the shortages of chip and memory, things are kind of hard to get. So these slots inside here on the side, they can handle up to 512. And then this one has a EMC slot where you can add more storage if you need it. Only the bigger ones have it. Wow, I can't believe all the laptops and gateways. So, holy cow, man. One in, out of stock, out of stock, out of stock. There's nothing there. Even the refurbished ones are gone as well. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wow. The only things that left are Chromebooks. They're all right. I don't use, the Chromebook is just a browser and a couple of apps in there. Okay, so I have it installed. It's going to be a Chrome OS in here. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna 
I have, to, I have to add myself onto here. I'm not going to do that right now. But what I want to do is add Chrome on the taskbar. So we're going to go into all apps. This is not touch screen. The other one is touch screen. Touch screen is fun. You go down to where Chrome, it's Google Chrome. So you right click on Google Chrome. You click on more. And you click on um, pin to taskbar. Then I'll move it where the other one is from Ed, from Microsoft, and that's it. And you like that. And then you can create an interface ecosystem. You can have multitude of accounts. It's not that you don't have to have multitude of browsers. You can still use a Chrome. But remember, every Chrome you open up, that's going to be memory being used. So <laughs> be careful. But that's about it. So everything's working. It works perfectly. You might want to get um. For this, uh, well, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, a laptop fan. Let's see if I can get fine one. Uh, I'll put down eleven point six. That's how I find mine. Uh, laptop, laptop fan pad, cooling pad. Let's see if it shows up. I forget the company's name. I mean, I'm not supporting anybody. I'm just saying, you know, <laughs> what I use. I'm trying to see if I, it has four fans. That's not the one. It might not even be around anymore. Everything's like hard to get now. Oh, I don't even see it. I think it's a K. K I think it's a KLM. I think this is the one. Can't tell. No, it's plastic. No, I don't want this. It's funny, I wanted to buy a sound bar, right? It was Dolby Atmos sound. It was dirt cheap this morning. And the price shot up. I, I contact Walmart. And I said, hey, do you guys match price? And she said, okay, where's the link? So I said, I went to go get the link. And it, the thing went back up to the original price. Ah, it's a shame. <laughs> At least on Walmart will match the price. But you got to do it quick. So it might have been like one of those quick deals. The same sound bar was ninety nine dollars. I want to get two of them. I want to get, I want to get one for the living room, one for the master. That would give me Adobe Atmos sound. I still have my other system too. I don't know if both could work. I can't. Um, I can't find the cooling fan. K L M cooling. Fan. That might be gone. Most likely. Mm -hmm. I bought like four of them. It was like it was cheap, like twelve dollars for it. Oh, oh, there it is. It is twelve dollars. So it's K L I M, Serenity. Whoops. See the screen. Oh. That one. <laughs> It's about the same price. The price hasn't changed. This one. It comes in colors. It comes in blue. It comes in red. It comes in white. I got it in black. It's the same price they have. They have it the same price. It says twenty nine dollars. I paid twelve last time. It was. It's the same price. It wasn't even. I don't even think it was on the sale. That was the price for it. These do eleven to fifteen point six um, laptops. So that would work on this. I mean, I could show you one. I could have to go pick it away from the um, the Chromebook has it on there, which I could still do. I mean, 
The only reason why I recommend it is because let me let me go get it because let me pause this. I don't want no accent. All right, so whoop. this is the cooling fan. Same one you see on the screen. It comes with the cord and an on and off switch. Some of them have variable speeds. I had a company send me one because I wrote a back. I wrote a review. Well, heck, theirs made noise at this company, another company. So they said they would send me a new one. And they did. They kept their word. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, they want to send, I, don't, I never promote theirs on none of my media. So that's what's making the noise in the background. That's what theirs does. It makes noise. Oh wow! There's no. There's no type two. There's all type three. I can use a hub. Extend that. So that's the way it looks. Mine is white lights. And the only reason why I suggest to get this is if you want a laptop to last a long time, this is the best way to go with that. Because it'll keep it cool. Because they do get hot. Remember, this, the only fan that's in there is the fan on the CPU. There's no other fan. So... That's why. So, so this is it. See, that's the fan. It's only one speed. Each one of each one of those fans are rotating at twelve hundred RPM per second. That's it. There you go. There's your workstation. Like that. You got your antenna. Get your cooling pan. I haven't had much. Ex I haven't seen anything anything hot. Oh yeah, remember when you buy this laptop? It, it comes with three eighty six for one year. They say I already have it, so I can't get it again. <laughs> well, I could get it for a year for free. This has been eight days since the checkup. I asked this company, Wise Care. I asked them, hey, can you, you know, you know, we have black instead of having it blue and white. And they did. They fixed it. They gave, gave me shade. Well, it's common sense, you know. It would match the rest of the OS. I wonder if there's a new one for this. It's a 6.13. So let's download the 6.13. I'm going to send this to the server. Okay, for you guys, a server would be like a NAS. That's a network attached storage. A business, they have them, but they usually have a server control and a multitude of um, optical drives. And everybody has share access and sometimes they get into active directory and that's different profiles set up for each user so so betty has access to the print share to all the share and mr jones the ceo so um special accounts and she has and then marcia will have access to so you know she's like the assistant administrator and she has some access that's the way that works so i wanted to duplicate the same thing here so that's what I've done. All right, so let's download the new one. And I have this on multitude of machines, so. I really don't put too much on this machine. 
The only time you put stuff on the machine is the programs. Then you have the side drive too. You can use that to, you know, whatever size that is. And that's it. I don't try to keep it. Because if anything happens to the, the internal, then you have to reinstall. That's why it's good to have back a copy. I mean, if you're on the road and you don't have no, like, you could hook up one of these. This is a, I think this is one terabyte hard drive. This is a blue t t a USB 3.0. Uh, so it'd be pretty quick. And you plug this in, you have extra storage. And you can back up your stuff to there. Because, you know, when we're building these machines, you know, like the clients, you know, they would eat, eat around it, drop coffee on it. And then if coffee got in there, you have to replace the whole thing. But see, now they make these a little better now. So they don't have, like, like it used to be, like, dust and dirt getting in there. I didn't realize this thing had, this has an extra protection in it. That's pretty cool. Okay, so it is now installed. It's pretty fast. And we got 6.12. Check it out up again. And always check your, um, make sure there's, okay, so Windows sec um, Security is a recommendation here. What's that? Somebody that has some blocking features found unwanted program. So what program is unwanted? Always check and make sure there's nothing lurking in the machine. Anyway, that's about it. So I just want to show you. Uh, we have an access point, but that is another option to buy. I mean, not to get TP-Link. I just, you know, use it because they're pretty reliable. But I don't know. Let me see. I'm going to run this for a while. Because theirs get a little hot. And this has more of a, a gap. And you can put any size antenna onto it. I don't have any, uh, any, uh, any, uh, any other antennas. I used to have antennas about like that tall. <laughs> Okay, thanks again for watching and don't forget to subscribe and more videos will come down the pike. I wanted to show you the access point because a lot of people, um, some people, I even told some people when I do certain jobs that um, you can put up an access point. They didn't, a lot of them know, they didn't know how, to, how the heck that, that would work. Well, it's not hard, you know, that has to be configured. Um, you know, you mount the mounting plate goes on the ceiling. I mean, I can cut a hole when the hole come down, and it will look nice and neat. You know, you just have the uh, the Ethernet cable hanging from the ceiling. You plug it right in. But you know, when you're gonna go that route, you know, you just have to know that you know you're gonna have a little hole. I could put a little hole in there. Actually, what I, instead of running the wire like I did up, I can put it in the closet, go up, and drop it down, and pop it right in there. I could do it that way too. That's another option. Or I could mount it on the side, you know, you, you don't have to have it on the ceiling, you can mount it on the side and have it span out like that too. Whichever way you want it, but you know, this is a room, so it doesn't matter. But it does work. Okay, hey, thanks again for watching and stay tuned. There will always be more coming, but thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye for now.